one, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines. Today is a new day, it is Monday, and a very exciting Monday, if I do say so myself. Today's Monday, June 22nd. It's currently 9.30, I woke up at 7 because Keikoa spent the night last night and he worked early this morning, so we got up early and made breakfast and coffee and stuff like that before he left. Today I'm gonna be doing a little kind of productive Monday in my life because I have so much to do. In case you don't know, I am leaving on a trip tomorrow to go to Mississippi. I am flying to Mississippi tomorrow to meet my sister there. She lives there right now and they are currently in the process of moving back to San Diego and they are going to be staying here for a few months. So that's super exciting. I am flying tomorrow and I will be there for a couple days and then we're going to start road tripping back from Mississippi all the way to San Diego and I will be doing a road trip vlog for that so stay tuned. It's going to be very interesting traveling with little kids. So that's going to be exciting. I will be vlogging my whole trip. I'll be doing a packing vlog slash like preparing to leave vlog today. I'm going to be doing a traveling vlog, um, probably vlog while I'm there specifically, and then definitely a road trip back vlog because that's going to be a few day journey. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be super exciting. Lots of fun things happening. I will be taking all precautions obviously with COVID and just being as safe as possible. I'm not traveling for the sake of vacation. I would not be doing that right now for sure. I am traveling to help my sister so she really needs my help so I'm going to help her if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you a part of the fam we just hit 40,000 subscribers this morning actually which is so exciting I'm literally so happy so excited to hit 50k I say this in every video now but I have a really exciting announcement when we hit 50k so let's get there soon make sure you like this video so I know you enjoyed it and comment down below anything you want because I literally respond to every single single comment and make it a priority every single morning to respond to your guys's comments because I love chatting with you I love engaging with you and I really appreciate it if you'd want to subscribe so yeah I am going to shower I already had my morning coffee I had a hot coffee this morning made a hot latte I also made a to do before leaving to do list and we've got lots to do today like I said it's 9 30 so let's get on with the day we're gonna start off by showering. So here's my list to do before leaving. This is like really ugly. I'm not a fan, but you know, we're just gonna ignore that for today. Today's not a good to-do list header day. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, I need to shower right now. Um, I just feel very gross, so definitely want to shower. I need to water my plants before I leave. I might not do that like first because I want them to be freshly watered when I leave, but yeah, I need to do all my laundry. I have kind of a lot of things to wash and fold and just get ready to pack for tomorrow, so I need to to do that. Um, I have textbook rentals from Amazon from the semester that I need to pack and ship because they're due on like the 26th or something, but I'm going to be gone, so I need to do that for sure before I leave. I definitely need to clean my room, just get rid of a bunch of trash and like clothes on the floor and just tidy it up for when I get back because I definitely want to come back to a clean, organized room. I obviously need to pack. I'm actually not taking a carry-on. I'm not checking a bag. I'm just taking a backpack, so that should be really interesting. The reason for that is because they don't allow full-size carry-ons. Also, I'm so sorry for my nails. I should probably do those too. Anyways, they don't allow full-size carry-ons, so I'm just taking a backpack pretty much, and then I'm just gonna borrow <laughs> like my sister's clothes and stuff if I need any extras. So yeah, and then I'm gonna edit this video because I want to get it up either by tonight or tomorrow morning, just so you guys can be like up to date in like real time. And I also need to clean my bathroom for when my sister comes. So yeah, really exciting, but let's go shower first because I need to be clean. Also guys, I have to share, but look how cute he is. I took this picture this morning before he left. He's so cute. I love him. Also, shout out if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. Oh. Hi, Catherine. I'm gonna hit 10K and about 2,000 followers, which is really exciting. And I always post on here, like literally all day I post on my stories. So yesterday was Father's Day. 
enjoy these pics of me and my dad. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on there if you haven't already to stay in the loop of everything. Okay, let's go take a shower. Also, I'm kind of like, I feel like something's wrong with my camera because if you didn't watch my last night routine, you should definitely go watch that first of all. But my camera and my tripod fell really hard onto my floor and I literally thought it broke. And now my tripod is acting really weird and as you can see, it's like not stable anymore, which is really sad, but it still works. But like, oh hi, this is me. It's kind of shaky a little bit. So really sad about that, but oh my gosh, look at this leaf. This was literally not here like two days ago. Isn't this so cute? I really hope my plants don't die when I'm gone, but I'm only gonna be gone for like maximum five days. So hopefully we're okay. But look at this new leaf. Are you kidding me? So cute. I did not know that was there and that just made me so happy. Also, this baby is huge. This leaf, so sad, but it was new, newly, newly sprouted and it got chopped in the door when I closed the door one time because it's just so long and like this branch, are you like, <sighs> and then this branch over here, so long, just so happy. But it's also like not doing the best. Like it just does not get enough light here, but it's obviously still growing, which is good, but still also kind of dying at the same time. We're just gonna hope for the best with this one. So, okay, I just said I'm gonna go shower like five times, but I'm actually gonna go shower now. I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shell And how rare it is that I stay up past 12 in the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good, I beg your pardon Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Finally feel so fresh and clean. So happy, so happy. I'm obviously going to put some moisturizer on now. You wanna know something really sad though? Is that I forgot my Curology face wash at Keiko's house when I went over there and spent the night last Friday and he forgot to bring it. So I'm living without my Curology face wash for however long it takes for me to come back. So that's kind of scary and I'm a little scared for my skin, but so far it's looking still pretty good. I've been using this random um, face wash I had oh my <laughs> my hair. This face wash that I had from Yes Style that I ordered, it had really good reviews. I'm just scared to stray away from using anything Curology, but I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm, I still have my like medication bottle thing, so I think as long as I have that, I'll be fine. But still miss my face wash. <laughs> okay, my hair always falls out. My robe is from Victoria's Secret, in case you haven't seen my other vlogs, because I always get comments on it even though I talk about it, so, you know, <laughs> I might as well just tell you now. <laughs> but let's see, we're gonna mark off shower, because I just showered. I think I'm gonna clean up my room now because it's pretty hectic. I also need to wash some dishes. I need to wash my coffee cup and also Keikoa had some like his lunchbox from work so he asked me to wash that so I need to wash that. My room is very messy right now as you can see. Also I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. Those are my 50k balloons. Have I hit 50k yet? No. I'm like 10k away but I had to get the picture ready before I left just in case I hit it while I'm gone so I have the picture to post when I hit it. So that's what those are. I'm not trying to hide them in this vlog because it's just gonna be way too hard because they're literally huge, way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So yeah, that picture is already taken and that'll be posted once I hit it, but I really have nothing else to do with them. So they're just gonna be in the corner of my room for now. I might honestly deflate them because they're just so big and take up so much space. I don't want to, but I might have to. Now I'm gonna get changed into some real clothes and then probably start doing laundry, so. Let's do that. This is my lovely outfit today. This tank is from Yes Style. I wear them all the time. I'll link it down below because you guys ask about them still literally every single time I wear them. And then I'm wearing literally my cheer warm-up pants because they're so comfy and kind of flattering. So I like to wear these when I'm lounging also. Hello, Oreo. Goodbye, Oreo. Also, I still have not gotten rid of my mattress. I put it up for free on OfferUp and like let go and stuff and no one's picked it up. Probably because it has some literal dog piece stains on it so I don't blame them for not wanting it but it needs to go because it can't just sit there forever and I don't know what else to do with it if you guys know like what to do with old mattresses and like how to dispose of them please let me know because I don't just want to throw it away because who knows where that will go please just let me know I'm gonna do my hair care stuff now so 
I always just put in some leave-in conditioner. Hello. Kiko always leaves his stuff on the floor. Okay, for my hair, always, I always just brush it. Then put in some leave-in conditioner, hair mask type of things. I'll show you what that is right now. But yeah, I used to never brush my hair. Literally ever. Like I, before, like I could not tell you the last time that I brushed my hair. But ever since I started doing it, I've noticed very good things. So I don't know why I never did. But I'm using this Rooted Rituals multitask leave-on mask and I like to just like literally put this much in it because a little bit goes a long way I just put it in the bottom halves of my hair and that's about all I do <laughs> but yeah I love the way this stuff smells it smells so good so I'm really glad I have that literally this boy is so bad do you guys want to know what he did if you follow me on Instagram you would have already known I'm about to show you something so sad and I know a lot of you guys will be sad for me also so that is my Apple watch in case you don't know and if you know Apple watch is you know usually have watch bands on them right well he he literally stole my apple watch it was on my bed some at some point in the day i don't know i ended up finding him with my apple watch under the kitchen table and i was like okay he's just chewing on a toy because it sounded like he was chewing on a bone and he had his bone right next to him under the table so i obviously was just like okay whatever he's chewing on his toy and playing okay and then i come back into my room he runs in my room drops something really hard on my floor and i see my apple watch just the square literally just the watch part and i was like oh my god i thought it was broken he dropped it so hard and he was like trying to pick it up so he was like scratching it across the floor and i was like oh my gosh so i grabbed it really quick smacked that boy in the butt and then yeah i could not find my watch strap so i went into the kitchen where he was at the table my watch strap was literally in a billion pieces ripped up on the floor my infamous watch band my animal print leopard dot watch band i was literally so sad so that thing is destroyed i'm probably gonna order a new one honestly because it was my favorite thing ever and you guys love that strap like i would get at least five comments on it every single time i posted a vlog so probably gonna order a new one it was like twenty dollars so yeah but i also have my like apple one like this black one but um i have a white one that fits mine so i need to find that and put it on so i can use my apple watch but that's just a really sad story that happened <laughs> And I was literally so mad at him. And I'm still mad at him. He's still on my bad side. So anyways, that's my sad story. So now I am going to go wash the dishes that I have to wash so that I can start cleaning my room. Okay, I just washed dishes, but I actually just took this, um, my shower curtain off of here because it just needed to be washed. So I'm washing that. I'm washing my rug right here and a bunch of towels. So let's stick all this in there. I'm probably just going to start putting a bunch of random clothes in the wash also. All of Keiko's clothes. It's literally the girlfriend life for when he stays over because <laughs> he's really bad at putting his dirty clothes where they're supposed to be. Love you, but it's true. But I know if this makes me feel blue. Okay, I just found my Apple Watch band. So I'm going to put this on here. I already missed my old one. Also, it still works. You guys are really crooked. It still works perfectly fine. The screen is just very cracked, which is... Yeah, okay. That's not fun. Oh, I put this on the wrong side. It feels so weird to have the actual <laughs> Apple Watch band. Here we are. I also had a bumper on it and he tore that off too and ripped it up. So yeah, but honestly, I think I have an extra one. I just, oh, I found it. God bless. I have a little um, bumper. This one is black, but you know, my clear one is ripped. So can't put that on. It's better to have a bump black bumper than no bumper at all. So I'm gonna put this on. My new and unimproved Apple Watch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I made my bed, cleaned off this. Um, this is also, I said in my last video, but it's just literally a bag of clothes that I'm gonna let my sister go through before I donate. I have this box full of trash, and then I need to start doing that laundry once my laundry and the washer's done. So yeah, also those balloons are just taking up so much space. I need to do something with them. <laughs> Little update, I clean my room. 10.44. I'm actually really hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast today yet, so me every time trying to put this on. I'm going to probably make something to eat right now and eat something because I am hungry. This is just so sad. <laughs> So 
sad that I actually had to deflate those and pop them so fast. They're honestly just taking up way too much space in my room. I got them solely for the picture and I haven't even hit 50k yet so I don't want them to just be in my room, you know, because I haven't even hit it so why am I celebrating? So those are going in the trash, sadly. <laughs> okay, so this is my breakfast slash kind of lunch because it's 11.02. Um, I have this bread. It's like honey whole wheat bread from this store called Barron's Market near me. And then I put some avocado oil, butter on it, and honey. I love butter honey toast. Literally my favorite. So good. I haven't had it in a while either, so I'm excited to eat this. And then also I have this in my fridge. It's the Pink Lady Apple Healthy Kombucha. I love this one. I can't like drink it in a whole sitting, obviously, so I usually drink like half a day. So I'll probably drink half today and then half tomorrow morning before I leave. But yeah. Also, my friend Julia just started a live stream. She does like um design with me live streams on Procreate and it's really cool. So I'm gonna watch that while I eat before I do anything else. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'll catch you after. Currently just watching her live stream. She's doing a little drawing. Super cute. I love like learning new things about Procreate through her live streams because she always teaches like different strategies and stuff. So also if you haven't subscribed to her, definitely subscribe. The puppies are just, you know, being puppies, sniffing butts. <laughs> Ew, biscuit. I just finished my breakfast though. It's all done. It was very good. And now it's 11.13. I think I'm gonna go throw this box in the trash. Wow, it's like so unstabilized right now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go throw that in the trash and then my laundry should be done soon. So then I'm gonna put that in the dryer, put a new load in. Also, if you can hear my air purifier, sorry. I think I'm gonna go on to the Amazon textbook rental thing and print out like my prepaid shipping labels so that I can package those up and go ship them and drop them off at the post office. I'm also going to go see my sister today. Uh, my other sister who lives here with my niece Haven. If you haven't seen that baby babysitting video you definitely should i think everyone's obsessed with my niece now and i don't blame you because i love her so much she's the cutest thing ever and she wants me to go over there and go say bye to them before i leave even though i'm only leaving for a few days but i see them so often so i'm gonna go over there and hang out for a little bit later also once i get everything done i don't have that much more to do i'm definitely going to paint my nails again though so that i need to add to my to-do list yeah let's definitely do that i'm gonna paint my nails so i'm just going to keep watching julie is live while I go and find my shipping labels and I also need to figure out what books specifically that I need to ship back so I ship back the right ones but we shall see okay I just threw that box away my laundry actually just finished for my first load so I'm gonna go put in another one Also, my air purifier, I actually get a lot of questions on it. It's linked on my Amazon storefront, which is in the description of all my videos. I love this thing. I literally can't not have it on. It literally has to be on 24-7 for me in order to feel like sane and just clean. So definitely go check that out if you have been looking for one or you just want the one that I have. But something really cool about this one is that actually remove this little top piece and drop some essential oils in there. So right now I'm just gonna drop some lemon essential oils um, just so we can kind of diffuse this throughout my room because we love smelling clean and feeling clean. Yes, I also love the smell of lemon. Okay, so I'm on my Amazon account right now and these are the two books that I have to ship back. So they're actually due by June 26th. Today's the 22nd. So we're gonna be right on time if I go ship them out today. So I'm going to return and I'm returning both of these so I'm gonna put print the shipping label for that and it's super easy so my books are actually hello biscuit under my bed because I didn't know what else to do with them <laughs> we have this one and we have this one so yeah this was for my development of children with disabilities class I love that class I'm literally so sad that I wasn't able to finish it in person because it was just so interesting we had guest speakers and just so many like really cool activities in that class and then my history book which I'm not sad to be saying goodbye to <laughs> so I'm going to print the return label and get that package in the sing with a mouth I've got my packing materials. I hope they both fit in there. I have more of these, but I kind of just want to ship them together. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen, but let's try. I literally just got such a bad cramp. 
Okay, that was literally so scary. My shoulder cramped so hard when I was trying to reach for the boxes that were under my bed. Oh my gosh. I hope that never happens again. Like, it felt like I pulled something in the moment, but I'm good now. I had to recover a little. But luckily I did have these bigger boxes from when I posted things on Poshmark. So I'm gonna package these now. I mean, I have some painter's tape. You think that's okay? <laughs> it's gonna have to be because this is all I have. Keep your belly up with your pace. Slowing things down when I want to race. It's time to do something about these nails, so I'm just going to repaint them white. So nothing really interesting, but if you want to watch a time lapse, keep on watching. The lights you on seem so, so far. Okay, I just finished fixing up my nails. They definitely look a lot better. I had to like clean them up also because they were a little crazy, but they're just white. I love doing white because they make me look tan. Obviously, you probably hear that from everybody. My laundry from the dryer is done, so I'm gonna go get that right now, fold it, and like put everything back in my bathroom, like my shower curtain and stuff, and then probably water my plants after. Cause you've been told bad boy. I always just keep my little watering can <laughs> in here because I think I'm gonna put the straightener away and take out this trash. I'm still waiting for the dryer to be done actually. I thought it was done but it was actually the washer so that's not ready to be folded and put away yet. I'm gonna go in my shower and clean it because there is some hair stuck in that drain that needs to be thrown away so let's go do that if you think this is gross you know i don't know what to tell you because i'm a girl and i feel like lots of girls can relate to this and it's just hair so chillax bro okay i'm gonna take that trash out probably tomorrow like right before i leave because i'm still gonna be here tonight and also keiko is coming back over after work so it's probably just gonna get messy again so i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to throw that trash out but yeah we're getting closer and closer to being done let's just keep going so i'm actually gonna post a video right now because i haven't posted one today and i have one ready so i think i'm just gonna get it up now um it was finally approved by a company i've literally been waiting forever for it to be approved but it was finally approved which is good news so I'm gonna get that all set and live. It's currently 12.34. All I need to do left is basically finish up my laundry and pack. And then I will head to my sister's house and drop off my package at the post office. That's what we're gonna do now is upload some content. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to give a little behind the scenes of posting a video. So I filled out all of the like description, the tags, the thumbnail, all of that stuff. So then I have to turn monetization on and I also need to put in ads. So I usually just do like three throughout the video, sometimes less if it's a shorter video, but this one is quite longer. So three ads is quite reasonable. And then I will go in and quickly add the end screen. So let's see, it starts about right here. So I'll add that in, just click that. It automatically loads my like most recent video, a requested video for you, or recommended, sorry. And then I will usually set it to schedule, but this one I'm just gonna upload right now. So that I'm going to press publish. So that video is now live, so go watch it if you haven't. And then also it is a brand deal, so I have to post a Instagram post for it too. So this is all ready, so I'm gonna share that at the same time. So that is now shared, which is super cool. And I'm already getting comments on that video. So that's that. And then I also have to post Instagram stories. So I'm gonna post these right now also, and then I'll get back to you. Pulling loaves of bread down from the shell. Okay, laundry is done. No, it's not. I need to fold all this stuff and put it away where it belongs. And then I'm also, I just posted that video, like I said, so I need to, I'm just gonna watch it through because it's literally been like two weeks since I edited it <laughs> and I don't even remember what it was about. So I'm gonna watch my own video while I fold laundry. Taking, everyone's grabbing. 
All right, my video is up. Laundry is folded. Well, my first load, I still have a load. It was literally just towels and Keiko's dirty clothes. So yeah, but then I need to go put my shower mat thing back in my bathroom that I just washed and also put the shower curtain back on my shower. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And until then, I think I'm just gonna wait. Oh, I also need to make a packing list to make sure I'm packing everything. So I need to do that. Um, but I'm gonna go put the shower curtain back on my shower and then start making a packing list so I know what to pack and so I don't forget anything. <laughs> okay, my laundry still has six minutes left on the dryer, so I'm going to make a packing list right now so that it'll be ready for when my laundry's done so I can just pack a bunch of that stuff because a lot of the stuff I'm washing, I'm definitely taking. So let's make a little list. Shall we? We'll be traveling the globe in a vintage station wagon like a movie from the 80s. Keep friends with some minutes, camping on volcanoes, taking random shots of the world. Okay, I think this is all I'm bringing. This is literally, it looks like so much, but a lot of it is just like um, tech stuff. And then I also need to bring like all of, obviously all my self care stuff, like my face skincare and deodorant and contact stuff and stuff like that. And I'm laughing at myself if I think I'm gonna fit this all in a backpack. So hopefully I'm able to do that. I also just got the United Airlines app because that's where I, what I'm flying tomorrow. And apparently I can check in already because it's 24 hours prior to my flight. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now is check in so i can see my seat oh man okay time to fold all this and then we're going to start packing i think i finished my list i forgot literally the most important things which were my camera batteries but i remember to put them on now so gonna finish this and then we'll get to packing okay this is the backpack we're gonna try to fit everything in this is the biggest one that i have um it's from tilly's and it's a nike backpack this is just my school backpack but I emptied it out, so let's try to fit everything in there. But first, I'm gonna grab everything and put it here so that I can see if it's even potentially gonna fit at all. So I think this is all that I'm going to take clothing-wise. I have a bunch of undies in here, some socks here. I have like five sports bras or something. And then I'm taking my Skims boxer shorts because I wear these all the time. These would be so comfy to road trip in. So I'm definitely bringing those. And then also my Lulu biker shorts. For that oh you know what i should have some aligns so i'm gonna do that also just in case it's cold and then i'm taking like five just t-shirts i have my long sleeve tie-dye one from yes style my princess polly shirts i have one two three and then this one also from yes style just a bunch of basic comfy tees so i'm gonna put all of that inside my bag now taking the day away making time for some loving so that was actually a lot easier than I thought and I still have a bunch more space especially to put my laptop and all that stuff in here when uh, I pack it tomorrow but that's good for now so that's really good. I thought I was going to be crammed on space but I really wasn't. So I also have my little airport outfit over here. Um, excuse these. That's my sports bra, my underwear, my socks. But this whole outfit is from Feet. This video is not sponsored but they did send me these pieces and I wanted to show you really quick literally in love they sent me three of these hoodies it's like their blanket blend material if you can just see like you can see the softness of this and it's kind of like an inside out material where the inside is like what would normally look like the outside of a, of a hoodie you know what i mean but these are so comfortable literally so soft so just perfect for like loungewear so i think it'd be perfect to wear on the plane but i have this color i have a yellow one right here and i also have one that's named oat milk which is Basically, this is the color of these joggers right here, but in a hoodie, and that's actually at Keiko's house, so I forgot to grab it, and I was gonna wear it on the plane, but now I can't, so that's kind of sad. And they also sent over a tie-dye one, but I still haven't received it. It's been like a week or two, and that's still not here, but when it's here, you'll probably see it in the video, because I'll definitely be wearing it. And all my hoodies I got in a size medium, they're just like a little bit oversized, and I really like them like that, so highly recommend medium if you're looking for it. This is the brand. It's called Feet, and it 
is designed in California. So that's really cool. And then these joggers, you guys, I'm literally obsessed with them. They're not the same material as this, but they are so soft. They literally remind me of like a lines and how like naked feeling that is and how buttery soft they are. These I got in a size small. Um, they fit me basically perfectly. They hit a little tiny bit above my ankles, but I think all of their joggers come a little bit cropped. These are so 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 soft i've already worn them in a few videos i have this color in oat milk and then i also have a like a like a pretty pretty blue color and i love these these are a size small like i said and they fit me perfectly so definitely wearing these two items tomorrow because i will be so comfortable on the plane and then also the back these just have a little zipper which reminds me of like workout wear you know so i feel like you could wear these to the gym and they'd be like really good workout material like gym quality because they're not like fleece lined or anything so they're not like super super hot and you would get sweaty in them here are the contents it's just 90 percent polyester and 10 percent spandex love these so much you'll definitely see me in them tomorrow when i'm doing my travel vlog but yeah now as for my tech things that i need to bring it's quite a lot so i just want to get them laid out right here i'm gonna for sure use them before i leave so i can't pack them yet technically but I definitely just want to have them all readily available so I can pack them tomorrow. So I'm going to get everything set here and then I will show you guys. Okay, so for tech, I'm bringing my laptop, obviously, my camera, which I'm filming on right now. And then aside from the SD card I have in my camera at the moment, I also picked up this 128 gigabyte one because right now I'm just using a 64 and it fills up quite fast. And I don't know how much time I'm going to have for editing while I'm there. So I wanted to pick up an extra one just in case, especially for like the road trip vlog because I feel like that's going to be a long one and just a lot of like time lapses and stuff so I didn't want it to fill up before I was able to like import all the footage onto my laptop and stuff so I thought I really needed this and it's also going to come in handy like aside from the trip obviously and then I have my external hard drive right here so I can edit videos and everything like that I need to bring that for sure my phone charger is plugged in by my bed but I'm still using it right now so and then I have my Nintendo Switch obviously because I feel like I'm gonna be playing some animal crossing on the drive also just to occupy myself or let my nieces and nephews play it um just to keep them occupied so there's that and then i also have the charger to that as well i have my airpods right here definitely need to bring them for the plane and to edit and stuff like that so i have those and then my tripod i'm actually not going to bring i'm just going to use my sisters if i really need it and then my camera batteries i need to charge these before i leave tomorrow and i'm also going to bring the charger obviously so i can charge them if they die which they probably will so yes here's all that stuff and yeah and then for some extra stuff i'm bringing obviously my curology my moisturizer and also my face wash but that's in the bathroom i'm gonna leave it in there because i'm still gonna use it obviously my deodorant for sure i have my glasses and my contacts in here and i just refilled my contacts case with some more solution but last time it literally dried up on the plane so hopefully it doesn't happen again but i'm just probably gonna need to buy more when i get to mississippi so i'll do that also bringing tampons because i have no idea when i'm supposed to start my period probably soon could be soon with my look probably on the airplane so i need these just in case and then some chapstick i don't i'm probably gonna bring my little ones that are over here i've got a little baby like trial size lineage so gonna bring that one and then i have a little scent bird perfume easy super easy to just pack and go my passport which i need and my wallet for sure and i'm not bringing my purse because like i said i can only bring one carry-on bag and like that's gonna be my backpack so can't bring the purse but yeah also my sunglasses and the rest we will pack tomorrow but i can't really pack anything up right now because i'm gonna still use it so i just wanted to have everything ready to grab and pack in the morning so yeah okay i think that's gonna be all for my little prep with me video because i basically did everything that i need to do i'm still going to go drop my package off at the post office before i head to my sister's but i'm gonna edit a little bit before i go over there because i want to edit this video right here to get it up tomorrow morning so i want to do that before i go over there because i know i won't do it over there <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see 
all the future travel vlogs I'm going to be posting. I'm going to be filming my traveling experience tomorrow, flying to Mississippi, and then I'm also going to be vlogging there, vlogging a road trip back, stuff like that. So it's going to be some fun content for the next few videos. So be excited for that because I definitely am. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. And for excitement and for new content and exciting content, I would really appreciate it if you would comment on this video, just letting me know anything you want. If you've traveled recently during COVID and how it was for you and just to say hi if you want to say hi because I'd love to chat with you and just talk about anything I respond to all my comments and I promise I will try to keep up with it while I'm there but I am going to be very busy I believe so I'm gonna try my best but if something happens and I don't respond to your comment please just bear with me and be patient because I'll probably get to it eventually so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video I love you so much by the way Bye, guys.